Unfortunately, the state of New Jersey has an absolutely outstanding percentage of seatbelt use. We're 92%, I and mean, that's almost perfect. Teen drivers and teens are 47%. Uh, they're risk takers. They don't put their seatbelts on. These two videos I want to show you are a real good display of what happens to you when you don't have your seatbelt on. The first one is a public service announcement from the United Kingdom. Um, they won't let us show them in the United States because they say they're too shocking. Well, I think dead people are too shocking. And so if, if, you, if you watch this and it gets you to put your seatbelt on, that'll be a great thing. Like most victims, Julie knew her killer. It was her son. He wasn't wearing his seatbelt. After crushing her to death, he sat back down. Think. It's real simple physics. It's weight times speed. If you weigh 100 pounds and you're going 30 miles an hour, that's 3,000 pounds of force flying around in a car. And if anybody thinks they can hold 3,000 pounds or, or lift 3,000 pounds or restrain 3,000 pounds, I'd like to go to the gym with you. We can make a lot of money if you're that strong. No human being can hold that. Seatbelts start to stretch at 6,000 pounds to let you know what forces they hold. So um, this next one, this one's from Australia. And it's the same basic concept as, as this. It's just a little bit different. This is Michael. Today he's going to hit his girlfriend so hard she ends up with permanent brain damage. Three dead in this vehicle. Girl is critical. They say the guy without the seatbelt did the damage. No seatbelt, no excuse. When you're in the car, don't be kind. Don't think you're going to be bothering folks to get in the back seat and don't put their seatbelt on. They are risking your life. Everybody, every time, in every car buckles up. My car doesn't move unless everybody has their seatbelt on, no matter how annoying it is. And if you mess up your clothes wearing it or you feel uncomfortable wearing it, it's a lot more uncomfortable to be in a hospital or to be dead. Okay, so you really want to have your seatbelt on all the time. All the other safety features in your car can't work until your seatbelt is on. It's made to hold you in place. So your airbags go off and you meet them when they're fully deployed. Without a seatbelt, you meet them while they're deploying and they cause a lot of damage to bodies that way. You can fracture your eye sockets, break your nose, break your jaw, disfigure your face. They come out. Most older uh, airbags come out at 200 miles an hour. They were finding out, obviously, that these were damaging people, so now they have smart airbags. They weigh you when you get in the car. If you've ever been in a brand new car and you weigh less than 100 pounds and you sit in the front seat and you don't weigh enough, it turns off the airbag. The light comes on that your airbag is turned off because you're not heavy enough to take the impact. And that's also so we can put a child seat in the front seat if we have to. Can't put a rear-facing child restraint up there, but we can put a forward-facing one up there. Five passenger car, four children, one of them has to go in the front seat. So that's, they've slowed down airbags and made a seatbelt even more important. So it's really important for you always to do that. 